Hello everyone, we will continue the topic background jobs and in the previous video, we have finished with the logic part. We called the function module job underscore open. We simply use the submit statement and then we called the function module job underscore close. Firstly, I will show you foreground processing. Then I will show you background processing. And yes, if some gap is there, it will be automatically clear. So firstly, I will put a breakpoint into the foreground. I will run. Suppose I am giving the order number 1, 2, 3. I will go for foreground. You all know desktop 3 most preferable desktop. So what is first radio button? It is capital X and second radio button is space. This if condition is true. I am doing F6. Now I am on submit statement. Now you can see the input is on the right hand side. What is S underscore ORD? We gave 1, 2, 3. Now, if I want to go inside this program, it means I have to do step by step execution. If you will do F6, this particular program will execute. But if I want to go inside this program, I will do F5. I am doing F5. Now, this is not our program. This is not our logic. And I already told you so many times, yes, if you lost somewhere in the debugging mode and you want to come back to original position, you can do F7. So please do F7. Suppose I am doing F7. Now you can see we return to our submit program. This is our submit program. It is not our main program. I am doing F6. Now you can see from that program, we gave the input 1, 2, 3. And now that input passed to this program. Now you can see in S underscore O and O, we got same to same input previously from the program. That's why I gave the different names in that program. The name of the input is S underscore O R D. Now in this program, the name of the input is S underscore O and O. Now you can see input is on the right hand side based upon this order number one two three it will go to o number column of this header table it will fetch the data of these four columns and data will come into this internal table if i will do f6 you can see in this internal table we have three records now, this if condition is true because we have three records in the internal table. Internal table is not initial. Internal table is not blank. I'm doing F6. Now, in this query, we are fetching data based upon the data of first internal table. What is the data in the first internal table? This is the data in the first internal table. And out of this, which column we are referring, which column O number we are referring. Input is on the right hand side. What is in O number? 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 order number. 1, 2, 3 order number will go to O number column of item table it will fetch the data of these three columns and data will come into this internal table. And you can see as of now in LT data 10 records. Now we have eight records in the second internal table. Now 
from these two internal tables, we are filling our final internal table. I'll put a breakpoint here and I will simply do F8 so that these two loops will execute. And you can see now we have eight records in LT underscore five. Now with the help of this loop, we are simply simply displaying the eight records. So have you seen, we called another program from, and we called one program in another program and we got the output. Now, same to same thing. Now I will show you in the background. And that is most important because our topic is all about background jobs only. Now I will show you the background. So I will put a breakpoint on background. Parallelly, I will show you SM37 also so that you can understand same to same thing is doing now. I'm running the program. Suppose I will give the input one to four. I'm going for background. I will go to execute. And most important learning will come. Now you can see second radio button is capital X. So this if condition is true. I'm doing F6. Now, this is SAP function module. I will not go inside this particular function module. I will simply, simply do F6 and I will execute this function module and I will show you the output. Suppose we are passing the job name. What is the job name? Order underscore DG. Now, after that, what is the job classification? A. Now you can see as of now job count, job number is blank. Whenever this function module will execute, yes, we will get the unique job number. I'm doing F6. Now you can see a unique job number generated. Yes. Now we simply, simply created the background job. Now I will show you in SM37, are we able to see a background job? So I will go to SM37. I will put the name of the background job, order underscore BG. I will take it as scheduled. I will go to execute. Now you can see we are able to see a background job, which is in which status? Scheduled status. You are doing same to same thing. Previously we did through SM36. Now I will simply, simply now go for next. Now this is the most important point, which everyone has to understand. Now we are adding a step to our background job. It means this program will attach to this job and job number. Now what people will do, they will do F5 and they are trying to go inside the program. See, you will not be able to see how, how you can see because this is background background. If you want to debug later, this is the real meaning of background. How, how you can see, yes, you can check it later. Yes, you can debug the finished job or you can go for active job. But here in the foreground, if I will do F5, I will not be able to go inside the program because this program is shifting to the background. background. I will not be able to see. I have written and return. It means I will be in this program itself. Suppose if I will do F5 also, nothing. If I will do F7, I have, I will do F7. Now you can see I have not gone inside that particular program. Yes, I'm in the main program itself, main program itself. 
Now I will simply simply do F6. Now our step is added to the background job. Means we attached our program to this background job. Now see as of now the status is scheduled as of now. Whenever I will go for immediately, immediately. Yes, the status will change to released and this background job will finish. Now I am doing F6. Now you can see if I will refresh here. Now you can see background job finished. Same to same thing we achieved through coding. Now you can, user can go to SN37 transaction code. Yes, we can check the school. And we got same to same output. But the order number you gave 1 to 4. Extremely important understanding from the debugging perspective also. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we firstly understood everything for foreground. Then we understood everything for background. Yes, during background, yes, we studied so many important concepts. How the background job scheduled, how the background job defined through job underscore open. We checked in SM37. Then we attached the program to the background job. Till then, yes, that status is scheduled. Once we called job underscore close, then the background job processing started and we are able to see the finish status. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.